All right, I want to talk about the uh, the new items, mostly the, the miscellaneous items, uh, in particular the optical item. Um, I think this the overall they're all very very good. Um, I would say most everything's at least a five out of ten, with most everything being at least a seven out of ten. Um, uh, and then I think the Optico Misk is actually a 10 out of 10. I think it's top five Misk in the entire game. Uh, and I will actually showcase some scenarios and actually show you why as far as some gameplay scenarios. And I actually think having this potentially is even better than when we used to have to uh, use Arms of the Dragon Guard to get Hyper Crit for our pets even when it comes to uh, healing and resource management but um, I think this item is elite level good um, but first of all I wanted to kind of go over some of the other things they updated the Shogun and, and, and Zatsu contract um, the biggest win for me is they now have an MP version I think the version before was only SP and basically this is all dam you know, increased damage for gold I'm not a big fan of gold items. I'm not a big fan of items that you get more damage. Either you pay gold or pay hit points or some other system for the most part. Uh, maybe some armors and stuff or farming's okay. But I, I don't usually use that kind of thing on a regular basis to play. I'm more about uh, strong status effects and strong uh, ability to uh, heal my resources. To me, that's more important, especially for bossing. Uh, the Kurt Guinbo, I picked this this pet up. Uh, basically, uh, you get all Ellie shield, so I'll showcase it real quick. It's not very, uh, it's not, it's not worth using to be honest with you and it doesn't stack well with other forms of Ellie shield um, so here we have 80% darkness let's see if I can toggle over to maybe 100 okay here's 140 this will kind of give you an idea let's just do this here all right let's see what happens all right so at 140 you get a 0.78 Ellie shield I think at 200 you end up getting Let's see here. You end up getting uh, 0.6 something. Let's see here. So that should be 200 to darkness. And 0.5914. So that's all you're going to get is 0.5914 for one round. Uh, it's basically free. It's just a toggle. You just lose some damage on the pet. That's versus 200%. You can use the Zfinity Gauntlet and get 0.50. Um, Geo Castell and Robes after like maybe the third. That's a lot of SP though. Um, and then this just doesn't stack well. Um, so if I did this, gave myself. Let's see here. that and then just so we have uh, one round of 0.5 and then versus 140 uh, it's not even gonna give me a chance like it it just averages out so it, it doesn't like I said it doesn't really um, stack very well um, the pets okay um, you know it's gold so yeah it's probably nice to have it'll probably always be there uh, they haven't updated the laser blazer still. Uh, today it was supposed to be updated. Um, so we're still waiting on what happens there. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to go into is the shield. I'm not big on compression as an ability. But basically it is compression. It is. It looks like ice and energy. So, you know, it is what it is. Um... I don't use compression shields. I I go for effects, honestly. Um, even if it was to like do like four different elements at negative 26, I may not use it. 
That's just my opinion. I give that kind of a five out of 10. Others may find value in it. Uh, the miscellaneous items are kind of the star of the show here. So uh, I want to start off, let's start off with the bottom, the Louis statue. Um, so basically it gives Dodge Lash. Um, so it's it's a 66.66% Dodge Lash and then it gives you 10 blocking. And then you can click it which then will give the, the enemy another 10 BTH loss. So you get a total of um, you get a total of 20 blocking, which is pretty good. Uh, but by initiating this extra 10 here, it lowers it actually lowers the 66.66 to somewhere in the 40s on Dodge Lash. Um, if you were to compare it to Summoning Stone. Oh, by the way, this is for 120 SP. I don't think this changes by, th by clicking on it. Um, if you um, have Summoning Stone, which is an ultra rare golden gift box and is still available, it's like around 91% melee dodge lash, so it's a lot more dodge lash. You get plus 40 luck and plus 40 charisma. Luck is providing maybe... So 250 luck gives you 5, so if you did the math, 40 into 250, you might get roughly like just shy of one it may round up to one blocking and then charisma 40 if you're running blocking pets and guests like bun barrets it'll give you another couple of blocking so it kind of competes from that standpoint here it also gives you eight blocking by itself instead of ten uh, so it's eight blocking plus the stats which are going to help your damage and then more dodge lash and only like around 72 SP, and then the, the click, the toggle, will then change it over to 26.7% um, guest um, damage. So it should be right, let's see, it's right up here somewhere, right here. So that's what that is here, 90.7 melee, 72 SP. So um, it's uh, probably better for dodge lash, not as good for overall blocking so a little bit different niche uh, I personally think summoning stone is a little bit better just because it has a smaller SP upkeep 120 SP is pretty pretty big to me that means if you have that high of an upkeep you got too much going on with with the item um, but it is good. I, I could probably give it a 7 out of 10. Dodge Lash is good. Finding ways to get more blocking is good. So I can't fault it for that. Um, I would recommend getting this if you have the extra tokens. Um, then we have the Mudder Statue. No, I did not get this because I have Summoning Stone. I just want to point that out. Mudder Statue uh, looks like it basically gives you um, a couple extra hits. I guess. Um, one... Each one hits MP and SP. So I'm thinking, so it's like other, so you can't enhance it with Ellie Vaughn's and different things. So um, I guess it's targeting MP to try to prevent a spellcaster enemy from casting on SP from uh, an enemy doing their SP attack. I kind of think pass on this one. Um, I don't really see. Like, maybe if it healed you based on that damage, then it would be worth getting. But, uh... I, I kind of feel like, um... I kind of feel like... I can probably, uh, either through Underwormling or even some of the Calendar weapons, damage, um, SP better, to be honest with you. Um, and I don't really see too much of reason to damage MP. I do have Warlock's Oblivion Sphere, which basically like mind locks your MP. So it basically takes whatever you have and puts it to zero. Um, I I kind of think that if you're playing Backlash or Dodge Lash, you want to be hit. So I I kind of like to play those sometimes. So uh, for me, it's maybe a five or six out of ten I would say skip that for now you know these items are, are not limited in any way they're permanently part of the quest updates so that's one of the good things about these items um, if something happens in the future and you um, kind of feel like 
they've become better based on some new situations, then we can always go back and get them. Uh, so here's the star of the show, the Optical Statue. Um, so basically, it gives you status potence of 10, so it's basically cracked ornament. But on top of it, it gives you plus 50 luck. And for only 66 SP, it also takes away 6 blocking and removes 8.5 BTH um, in order to um, give you a plus 50% lucky strike rate on your pet attacks. So basically, pet hypercrit has now been introduced in the form of a misc. And because it's in the form of a misc, uh, there's some new things, and I will show you, there's some new things and play styles that have now are possible. And because I used to use hypercrit with my pet so much before it was removed, the fun factor of AQ died when that happened for me. And now it has not only returned, for me it kind of like returned even more fun than before. So I wanted to show off a, a couple of things um, that you can do with this misc that you could not do before. You, If you had the shield cakes you could do it, but there was a lot of extra clicking. I personally do not like playing where you gotta click a bunch of stuff. I, I don't like doing that. Um, never have um, you know like the purple rain way of playing where you you know you do a bunch of quick casts and stuff buffs and you purple rain and then you kind of I've never done that before I don't like to play that way I prefer not to play that way unless I'm maybe against some something really tough and it's like you really kind of need to do it to help yourself um, but I if, if I can get away with not having to do that stuff then I then I won't before, if you remember before, you would do Arms of the Dragon Guard, your pet would get Hypercrit. On that very turn, and then on the next turn as well. So overall, your overall ability to get pet Hypercrit is not as good using this misc. Especially as far as resource management and damage. However, there's some other ways to go about this that have now come to light with some specific things that to me is now I think this is maybe even more powerful than it was um, and, I'll, and I'll showcase a couple of ways um, so like for first of all Dark Invader you in order for Dark Invader to really excel you needed Warpire Bat Swarm to bug out the Elevon. And then you would use Jelly Pet so on, on energy mode and then you could heal back whatever you wanted. Usually you would do SP because then you could do the skill, you could just cheese it every time. And made it even more effective with Tropo Shield and then Foam Finger on plus 50 pet mode. And then this guy would start to do some crazy stuff. Um, and I'll go ahead and show, I've, I've shown it before. So on Dark Invader, so what it does is it takes fire or energy, whatever's the most higher uh, element, and then it bases its um, statuses on that. So in this case, it's gonna take fire. So if you did this, you're gonna have all these things. The Ellie Vol will bug out. And then here you have the Jelly Pet, it healed 618. So the skill costed 431. So it, as long as it lands most it hits, it usually pays for itself. So this you just do you just cheese this. And most of these skills are for two rounds. So when one round remains, you actually continue to add to it. So now you have the Ellie Volans that are still there, the defense loss is now 28.4. And now you've increased your SP because there's two Ellie Volans listed to 1679. And then as you can see, Blind is now up to 50.6. And then you just do this over and over and it's it's very, very strong playstyle. Uh, the Tropo Shield is enacted whenever an Energy, Earth, or Fire pet or guest hits. So you don't even have to uh, attack with this armor. And as you can see, you have all these Ellie Volans, and you're going to be doing 
crazy amount of choke. It's, it's, it's extremely, extremely strong. I even beat the Valkyrie Vampire with this armor one time. Starting to get some Z tokens here. Everyone's starting to donate. So, so as I come over here, now we introduce... So if I wanted... Before, if I wanted to, to increase my... Um, my heals here, I would do Arms of the Dragon Guard, but that meant would mean I would either have to do Shadow Feeder for Celerity, and then do one turn the ability, and then Arms of the Dragon Guard, or whatever. But now, I can just equip the Misk. You actually click it to um, do the Pet Lucky Strike. It won't show it until after the turn begins. So now when I do this, so I also have the uh, status potency, and now as you can see, I'm, I may start to get some uh, L, um, lucky strikes. I already healed 1186, so the first round last time was 600. This was 1100. This should increase this time even more. And as you're going to see, look at the damage here. So it's 5,850 SP regen, and as you can see, you basically could full heal anything you want as long in this armor with this combination with the war power bout swarm bugging out the Ellie Voln of the armor you have the tropo shield Ellie Voln that's inflicting at a higher rate all of this is inflicting at a higher rate because this is cracked ornament so I would sometimes uh, try to figure out a way to work in my uh, cracked ornament in my misks if I really wanted to try to figure out a play style to increase my status inflictions this misc literally does it for me. And it has Pet Lucky Strike. It's off the charts elite as far as um, this combination goes. You saw Jelly Pet doing three and 400 damage. You know, it heals five SP for every one damage it does. And then even if you do, if you do shadow feeder here, because of the status potency, you're going to notice the warp heart bat swarm on a celerity turn could potentially get up to over 500% Ellie Vaughn here. So it's up to 494, 519, 519 Ellie Vaughn. Look, that's 5,000 damage, uh, 5,000 SP regen. Now, I could do Shadow Feeder again, but I just, and this will increase even higher. But watch what the Bat Swarm does in damage 400 and 400. And if I can actually get this to bug out to do like 2,000 per hit, if energy or fire is anything like 120 or 130, even, it, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, I did swap over to Sol Neko, and then you have your tried and true. Um, I'll just use um, Necromancer. You have your tried and true creature 72 and phase um, method, and um, this works pretty well. Um, I don't know. You can probably cast. So, usually when I run this, I would strongly recommend if you've got these two, you have to also include these two spells. The um, Seeing Red and the Jania's Orb of Power. They're not going to do a lot of damage on their own. But it's going to ensure that you have such a low panic that Phase is going to hit hard. And now with this 50% lucky strike rate, it's going to be even harder. So, so 200s and 300s, not, not a big deal. But now phase is now going to do crazy damage, and it's just be it's because you s casted the spell. If you didn't cast a spell, it's going to be drastically reduced damage. So you have to understand this combination when you cast that spell. Your that initial upfront damage that you see is it's fueling the the panic eat that's about to come. 
So don't view this as, well, there's better spells out there. It's actually um, fueling what FaZe is about to do. So here we have 52 and the creature dropped it to 38. And then one of these hits didn't land, plus darkness was only 75. And then if you notice, I have almost my entire MP bar back from my, my spell. So you could just do this perpetually unless you're missing the monster a lot. See, I mean, two casts and I still have this much MP. Um, I'll take it. Now, it's not guaranteed hyper crit like when you cast it Arms of the Dragon Guard in this situation. So this particular setup is not as strong as it used to be, especially you could just put Frostville Crown and cast Arm of the Dragon Guard. And remember before, Frostville Crown work, didn't work properly. So you just get the full hyper crit with the 1.5. And not only you would get like thousands of damage here, you would basically full heal your MP and SP at will. It was overpowered. So this particular scenario is not um, as strong but I wanted to now show you a new strategy that um, I kind of think might be better um, in a number of ways so I, I don't as far as the guest goes you can actually it doesn't really matter what I've started testing is just Rubzard on the luck steal so you get a hundred luck which happens more often because of the status potency. So the the misc itself is plus 50, and then with the Rubzard, you'll basically have 400 luck. So in a sense, it's kind of like having Frostville Crown equipped, if you really think about it. You know, 250 times one and a half. You know, I don't know what that number is off the top of my head, but um, it's probably very close to 400 luck. And then you actually what you do is you go with the energy jelly okay and then the other thing you have to have is tropo shield it will inflict 142 percent elevon to energy earth or fire and what you're going to do is one of two things so you have mandate here what you're going to be able to see here now this makes your attacks um, have less BTH but what you're gonna be able to see here is I'm gonna be able to cast mandate I'll inflict a blind and choke more often because of this guy and also necromancer has its own status potency 7.5 this can work in any armor and you're also giving yourself that barrier every cast then you have your Rubzard will give yourself a hundred luck unless you do um, a celerity and then it's 200 luck and then you've maxed your luck because stats will max at 500. And then you'll have an Elivon here and then plus Hyper Crit here. And you will be able to pretty much heal back all of your MP from your, um, your cast. So now if some hits miss, it won't happen. Or if you don't have the SP here to allow for the hyper crit here, it won't happen. Or even the SP to allow for the shield here. Necromancers will eat a lot of SP, so you do have to watch that. But I'm going to show you. So you just cast Mandate. Get Choking and Blind. So you got 45 Blind and 558 Choke. And then I just healed back 508 SP, which I meant to be on MP mode. My bad. So let's see if I can end up healing all that back on MP mode. So I'm not going to be hit now, probably. So I just healed back 432 MP. I actually missed it one hit. So I've, I'm down to six, 763 MP. And I just healed back 1,002. So as you can see, you can actually just perpetually do this. You probably would take way more than four casts to run out of 
MP. And what you're able to do is you're able to just cast Mandate over and 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 over until you get to a point where either Blind is going to block every hit no matter who it is or the choke will get so small that they they can't do any damage they're not going to get through your barrier so this is just versus 100 percent here so we got 30 30 blind and 722 choke and then i healed back more than i spent because the ellie Vaughn and the hypercrit now I'm up to 54 blind. So this one wasn't quite as high. Not as many hyper crits and um, you know if the tropo shield doesn't inflict it's just not going to be as much. So there's some caveats to it. It's not guaranteed. There's no Elivon here. We got a couple hyper crits so it kind of paid for it. And as you can see, so I'm able to maintain, I'm just, I just stack it and stack it and stack it. The other thing is 74th law. So I'm not doing a ton of damage, I'm just setting myself up to not take damage. Well now I can do 74th law and it's going to inflict bleed and burn, and it's the same thing. It's fire, so the, the shield should inflict a lot of times. I need to increase my SP, so that's what's going on here. So even without the Ellie Vaughn, as you can see, so you got the shield, and then I should get a pretty good heal here. So 804. And now the bleed and the burn is going to start eating away. And I've just cast it and cast it and cast it and cast it and cast it. And I still have MP. It, it, it's just always there. So this new play style with this specific set of items, Tropo Shield, the Hypercrit here, Mandate, and 74th Law, you can just cast it and 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 cast it. And you almost feel invincible because you set yourself up for defense and then you just bleed and burn them to death. Or you could just cast a regular spell. It's going to... I mean, you could cast an overcharge spell Maybe one that um, takes hit points instead of, but costs the normal cost. And your your jelly pet is going to, um, as long as you're doing um, a fire, earth, or energy spell, it's going to. Um, you're going to heal back your MP every time. So anyway, that's why the optical misc for Beastmasters is probably might be the best misc in the game for Beastmasters and top five in the in the game in general. You know, there's a few others that everyone should have like Prime Chaos Orb and Shadow Feeder and Essence Orb and stuff like that. But um, for specific Beastmasters, it's the best misc that you can get. It, it surpassed Clever Disguise, in my opinion. Clever Disguise is now number two on the list. Um, but that's, um, that's everything for this video. Um, you have any uh, uses or play styles of this um, new misc or any of the new items just let us know in the comments